Hi everyone, uh, glad to see you all again here today. Today I've had thoughts about, and we need to think about it seriously, post-COVID, how has that affected the demands in the Auckland market? It's going crazy out there. For me, I think the post-COVID has given time for people to actually stop and think about where they're going in their future. And because of this, I think there's really the reason for the early rise. Do they want to be staying a renter for the rest of their lives? Do they want to grow a portfolio that will help them in their retirement? Or do they just want to live day to day and spend everything they've got and hope that everything is in a comfort zone for tomorrow? I guess we know now, even when you look at the pension today, uh, something like about $15,000, $16,000 per year, uh, net in your bank account, that's about three, four hundred a week. It's really not enough to survive. People on the 585 uh, COVID subsidy were struggling with their incomes. So imagine if it dropped down to the 300 plus per week, that certainly is going to hurt. So I believe people are thinking about, well, let's get into property investing or let's go buy that home. So demands have hugely increased now that we're out of lockdown. The signs are all there, the economists are re uh, reporting it and uh, the auctions are certainly showing it and it's getting busy out there. So maybe you need to think about, come and talk to me and we'll see how we can actually get you to think about uh, strategizing for your future.